Hello, welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. Today I want to share a recipe to cook pork chops in the oven. Um, it's one that's easy, quick, and good. Now I have four boneless pork chops that I have washed already and I put them in a pan and I'm just going to put some salt and pepper on one side of them and then we're going to mix up this tasty sauce that's going to go on top. Okay, I'm going to start with a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Before I do that though, it calls for two tablespoons of brown sugar and I want to use my tablespoon to get this out before I put the, the liquid in. So there's one and there's two. All right, and to that, I'm going to add one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And y'all, I love it, so if I put a little bit more, it's okay. But I'm gonna try to stick to my recipe, okay? And then, um, I'm going to put a tablespoon of soy sauce. Gonna put two tablespoons of ketchup and I'm just gonna kind of squirt it in here because I can look at it and tell you about what's a tablespoon. One, two. All right. And two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. a clove of garlic, and I'm going to use <clears throat> this chopped minced, and it says on here that um, a half a teaspoon is equal to a clove. So, all right. And the last thing that I'm going to put is one tablespoon of olive oil. Now I know that probably some of y'all are, that's not the top that goes on that. Um, some of y'all are probably going to say, why don't you just put barbecue sauce? And you can if you want to. But this sauce it, it kind of, um, it cooks on it, but then after the pork chops cook for 15 minutes on a higher degree temperature, 430 degrees, then what I'm going to do is turn it on broil and let each side um, kind of brown and caramelize so. I'm just gonna put this good stuff on the pork chops. And I'm gonna turn them over. And put it on both sides and then the remainder, I will, um, just pour over them. And uh, you don't have to marinate them. Now, you know, if you wanted to marinate it, it would be fine. But this has a good taste without marinating it. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put it in my oven 
that has preheated to 430 degrees for 15 minutes. Let me do this. Set the timer. And of course, I will, I'm gonna pause and come back, but I want to show y'all I got a surprise. This is one tea towel that I've gotten, and I got some pie shields, and I told you about those cotton cloths that I had covered my um, yeast bread while it was rising. I got that from a sweet follower, and then yesterday, this lady is from Texas, and I want you to look at here. This is a hamburger press that will be in the shape of Texas. Y'all, you know, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make a hamburger steak in the shape of Texas one day, and she also sent some kitchen scissors, some hot pads, and a pretty cross. Isn't that pretty? But I have to tell you something. I tried not to let anybody know the day that I cut my finger when I was cooking and I had to pause it. And y'all knew you were smart. Y'all said, I think she cut her finger cause she came back with a Band-Aid on and I did. So I learned a lesson. I'm not gonna open a package with my sharp knife anymore. And now I have some kitchen scissors. But anyway, I'm gonna let this cook and then I will be back and show you what's next. Okay, let me tell you how I did this. I cooked them in the oven for 15 minutes. And then what I did, then you turn your stove from bake to broil. And you baste them again with the juice. And then you, you'll cook it on one side and then you turn it over, baste it again, and then you cook it on the other side. All right. I'm gonna tell you, they smell so good, that garlic. If you like garlic, you're, garlic, you're gonna like this. But that's all there was to it. Let me cut it. I don't think it's too hot for me to eat. I, I... Very good. Mm. It's not a heavy glaze on it, but just enough to give the pork chops a flavor. And you do it all in one dish in the oven. I do put my recipes after you watch the video. If you'll go to my website, which is mamasosouthernkitchen.com, I always have the recipe for what I've done the video for. Y'all, I hope that you know how much I appreciate you following me. I appreciate those who have followed me on Instagram and YouTube and I will tell you that many of you have asked, and although I'm still sending out the volume one cookbook, I'm about to start volume two, and hopefully by the end of the summer, we'll have it ready. But I thank you so much, and I want you to remember, I want you to be salt and light. My necklace is salt and light, and everywhere people see me with this on, they, they look and they'll say, oh, salt and light, and I get a chance to share Jesus with them. I, I hope that you know that Jesus loves you, and it doesn't matter what your past has been. All you have to do is trust him and ask him to forgive you of your sins, and he doesn't remember them anymore. Hope you have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you soon.